Let's now proceed with our lesson regarding profit and loss. So, of course, in a, any business uh, establishments, uh, an entrepreneur may gain profit or may incur loss depending on the strategies that he or she applies in his business. Our learning competency for today will have differentiate profit from loss and illustrate how profit is obtained and how to avoid loss in each transaction. Let's have our definition first. So when we talk about profit, uh, the difference between what a merchant invests into business and what he receives he receives in is called a profit. So to compute for the profit, that is the net sales minus the costs. Where the net sales is the amount of money received from selling goods and the cost is the total amount paid for the goods. For example, um, the cost of a certain product is 10 pesos. And then the merchant sold 10 pieces, okay, which was sold for 15 pesos. So what would be the net sales? Again, let me repeat. The selling price is 15 pesos and then he sold 10 pieces. So the net sales would be the total amount received from selling the goods. So there are 15 items, or there are 10 items sold for 15 pesos. So you have 150 pesos. That would be your net sales. However, the cost of a product is 10 pesos. So you sold 10 pieces for 10 pesos, so that is 100. So that's the total cost. So net sales is 150 minus the cost, which is 100. So there is a profit of 50 pesos. Now, the profit is gained whenever the net sales is greater than the cost. However, if the net sales is less than the cost, then that would be a loss. So in, in, each case, oh, in cases where in the net sales of goods is less than its cost, the difference is called the loss. So in any case when the net sales is equal to its cost, we call it as break even, which we will discuss later. Again, if the net sales is greater than the cost, then you'll have a profit. But if the net sales is less than the cost, that would be a loss. Now we have here our example. A watch store owner decided to offer a 20% discount for a particular brand of watch that sells at 35,000 pesos. By doing so, his average sales increased from five watches to 12 watches a day. If he bought one watch at a price of 22,000 pesos from the supplier, by how much was the daily profit increased or decreased by offering such discount on the watch? Now take note that uh, on average, there is only five watches daily. Ang iyang mabalikya. However, because of the 20% discount from five, it now becomes 12 watches a day. So the question is, was there a profit gained by the store owner or did he incur a loss? So solving for that, Let's identify what will be the profit per watch. So take note that the profit would be the net sales minus the cost. Because the net sales is 35,000 pesos per watch and the cost of the watch is 22,000 pesos, then 35 minus 22,000, that would be 13 
thousand pesos. That is the profit per watch. But on the daily basis, there are only five watches, meaning the profit for selling five watches, this will now be re the revenue of that day, that would be 13,000 times five. So you get 65,000 pesos. The 65,000 pesos is the average daily profit of the store owner. However, nag-offer siya ng 20% discount. So let's try to compare the profit on the daily basis and the profit when he offered a 20% discount. So with a 20% discount, the new selling price would now be 35,000 minus the trade discount. If you can still remember the trade discount, you have there the discount rate multiplied to the selling price. So you get 28,000 pesos. So the product of 0 0.2, because that is 20% discount, multiplied to the selling price, which is 35,000 pesos. You subtract this from 35, you'll get 28,000 pesos. That is your new selling price. So originally, the watch is sold for 35,000. After the 20% discount, you will now be selling the uh, watch for 28,000 pesos only. Now, because the selling price is only 28,000 pesos, then the profit per watch would now be 6,000 pesos. Again, the selling price, this is now your net, uh, the net sales minus the cost. So 28,000 minus 22,000, you'll get 6,000 pesos. That's your profit. Now, because of the 20% discount from five watches, what will now be the profit for selling 12 watches. So you multiply the profit per watch, that is 6,000 pesos, multiplied by 12, you get 72,000 pesos. Now let's try to compare these two amount. On a daily basis, on a regular day, he is selling only the profit of the owner is just 65,000 pesos. But after the 20% discount, the profit per day would now be 72,000 pesos. Now, the question is, was there a profit or a loss? So, as you can see here, the increase in daily profit would now be 72,000 minus 65,000, so that is 7,000 pesos. So there is a 7,000 peso increase on the profit of the store owner after the 20% discount. Okay, again, let's recall the definition of the profit. That is the net sales minus the costs. Another example. Annie bought one dozen smartphones for 200,000 pesos with a discount of 5%. She sold half dozen at a price of 18,000 pesos per unit. So half dozen, so there are six units being sold for 18,000 pesos. However, a new model of smartphone beca became available in the market. So she sold the remaining half dozen at 12,000 pesos per unit. Now the question is, what was her profit or loss? So to identify if there is a profit or there is a loss, we need to calculate the net sales of that smartphone, okay? What was the net sales? So, as you can see here, the cost of 12 smartphones was 200,000 pesos minus 0 0.05 multiplied to 200,000 because of the trade discount. Take note that the one dozen being, uh, being bought by Annie, there was a 5% discount. So, the 5% um, 
converted into decimal, that is 0 0.05. So this is now your trade discount. So the total cost would now be 200,000 pesos minus the trade discount, you will now get 190,000 pesos. So meaning, Ani, uh, um, the cost of one dozen smartphones is originally 200,000 pesos. But because there is a 5% discount, she will be paying for 12, uh, 12 smartphones at 190,000 pesos. Now let's identify the net sales. Now take note that she sold half dozen at a price of 18,000 per unit. So meaning half a dozen, that's six. So you have 18,000 multiplied by six, you get 108,000 pesos for the first half of the smartphones. However, the remaining six smartphones was only sold for 12,000 pesos per unit. So meaning there would be 12,000 multiplied by six, you get 72,000 pesos. So the total net sales for one dozen, that would be 108,000 plus 72,000, you get 180,000 pesos. Now take note, as you can see here, the net sales is 180,000 pesos. However, the cost of the smartphones was 190,000 pesos. The question is, was there a profit or a loss? And by how much? So looking, comparing the cost and the net sales, the net sales is less than the cost. So if the net sales is less than the cost, it is obviously a loss. And that is a loss of 10,000 pesos. Okay, so again, if the net sales is less than the cost, that would be a loss. But if the net sales is greater than the cost, that would be a profit. Another example, Jason bought two digital cameras at 15,490 pesos each. He sold one of the cameras to his friend at 13,500 while the other was sold to the neighbor at 16,200. How much is Jason's profit or loss? Now take note, each camera is, uh, was bought for 15,490 pesos each. So that would be 15,490 multiplied by two because that would be your, uh, there was two digital cameras there. So that would be the cost. And then the net sales would be the amount being sold that is 13,500 and 16,200. Now the question is, was there a profit or was there a loss? I'll give you a minute to answer. Okay, we have a lot of answers now in our chat box. So most of your answer, you get a net loss of 1,280 pesos. Now let's try to identify if your answer is correct or not. Now the cost of two digital cameras would now be 30,980 pesos because that would be 15,490 multiplied by two. Now the net sales would be the amount being sold. So to the friend that is 13,500 and to the neighbor, which is 16,200, a total of 29,700 pesos. Comparing the net sales and the cost, the net sales is less than the cost, meaning there is a loss. So that would be cost minus net sales. That is 1,280 pesos. Very good, your answers are all correct. Let's proceed with the next example. Michael went to Baguio and bought 20 jars of strawberry jam for 3,500 pesos with 15% discount. So originally the strawberry jam was sold for 3,500. That is for 20 jars already. 
And then there is a 15% discount. We got back to, uh, when she got back to Manila, she sold 10 of the jars for a total of 1,800 pesos. So the 1,800 is for the 10 jars already. And then the rest was sold for 185 pesos each. How much this did Michael gain or Michelle gain? So computing for the cost of the jar, you get 3,500 pesos minus the product of 0 0.15 and 3,500. Take note again that this is the trade discount. Now, so subtracting these two values, you now get 2,975 pesos. So for 20 jars, instead of paying 3,500, Michelle will now be paying 2,975 pesos only. That is already for 20 jars. Now let's calculate for the net sales. The net sales for the first 10 jars is 1,800. And the remaining 10 jars was sold for 185 pesos each. So that is 10 multiplied to 185, you get 1,850. So the total net sales would be 3,650. Comparing the net sales and the cost, obviously the net sales is greater than the cost, meaning there is a profit and that is by how much? Okay, very good. That is a profit of 675 pesos. Okay, all you need to do is to just simply subtract the net sales and the costs. Okay, see again. So let's try this one. All we need to do is to identify whether there is a profit or a loss in the certain situation. First situation, Ben bought a pen at 10 pesos each and sold it for 12 pesos. Is there a profit or a loss? Okay, very good. There is a profit. And what was the profit? Okay, the profit is two pesos per pen. The next situation, Martha bought a scientific calculator for 2,000 pesos. When a new and upgraded model was released after two months, two months, she sold her calculator for 1,200 pesos to buy a new one. The question is, is there a profit or a loss and by how much? Okay, very good. There is a loss of 800 pesos. Okay, so that is the cost minus the net sales. So 2,000 minus 1,200, you get 800 pesos loss in the certain situation. The third situation, a banana queue vendor gains 100 pesos for selling it at 10 pesos per stick. The question is, is there a profit or a loss in the situation? Okay, very good. There is a profit. Okay, and the profit is 100 pesos. That is, take note, there is no calculation in this part. Okay, all you need to do is to identify or understand the given situation. There is a gain of 100 pesos. So by the word gain, that is already the profit. Okay, very good. So first things first, in a certain situation, you really have to identify first if there is a profit or a loss for you to calculate. Okay, Sige. so we'll have our activity, but we'll answer this later on. So we only have three problems for this lesson. Any questions? <laughs> 